Good Tuesday morning. I'm Father Steve from St. Bridges Hermitage, and this is Moments with the Master. Today is the 12th day of October 2021, and our readings today come from the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 16 through 25, Psalms 19, and where I'm going to draw my reflections, Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 37 through 41. Folks, as always, I encourage you to read those passages for yourself. Draw your own reflections. You know, meditate upon the Word. See what the Lord is telling you. It's a great day, great way to start your day. Well, in today's passage, we find the Lord finishing his his preaching, and he's invited to a house. He's invited to a house for a meal, and during this meal. He's asked a question, a question about washing of hands. Why didn't the Lord wash his hands? Now, something that people tend to forget is the Lord doesn't forget things. He didn't forget out of absent-mindedness to wash his hands. He didn't wash his hands for a reason. He set the poor man up to ask the question so that the Lord could give him a lesson and through him to us. Now, let me read those passages for you today. After Jesus had spoken, the Pharisee invited him to dine at his home, and he entered and reclined at the table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O Pharisees, Although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, the inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean to you. Well, that was a fairly sharp rebuke. And within these four verses, I see that, well, I guess you can, there's many points you can make, but today I want to make two. Um, I think two are, that to me are probably the most important. First, motivation. The Lord wants you to look at your motivation, the inside. What makes you do what you do? Why do you follow the word of the Lord? Why do you follow our traditions? Why do you do what you do? You know, sometimes, sadly, people do it just to look good. Just to look like good Christians. Sometimes, they just do it to be technically correct. I'm better than you. You know, both of those those reasons, you know, are substandard and they're, they're not very good at all. You know, I know that we all naturally want to look good. We all want to present the best version of ourselves to the world. The Lord is telling us that's not the reason, guys. It's what you're doing inside. So if, if don't get me wrong, if, if you're doing the best you can following the scriptures, living a, a just and upright life, that's awesome. Keep doing it. Yeah, I know it's tough. But if you're doing it to be seen, you have your reward. If you're doing it because that's just the right thing to do, that's what the Lord called you to do, then that's the right reason. Um, I doubt any of us want to look... Um, less than a good Christian. We don't want to look like the the weak Christian, the, the fallen away Christian. So I know that we, we sometimes get caught up in that. And you know what? All we can do is our best. Sometimes we're going to fall down. Sometimes we're going to make those mistakes. And that's okay. That makes us human. You know, the Lord will forgive us if we come to him. We just got to move on. But we can't hold up the, a persona of doing the wrong, of doing the right thing 
and and when no one's looking, doing the wrong thing. I think this is what the Lord's talking about. Um, because as a rule, Christian folks, we want to do our best. We want to follow the scriptures. We want to follow our traditions. We want to be the best versions of ourselves. And as long as we're doing it with the right motivations, I think that's great. Because sometimes we get caught up in, I'm doing it for uh, X, Y, and Z. Anything but, but to please the Lord. And sometimes the worst case scenario is we think that we are the standard, some kind of benchmark. And that's even worse. Because now, now we're starting to get into judgment because those folks don't do what we do. Or they don't do it like we do. Folks, either way puts us in a bad position. I know that uh, we all start out with the best of intentions. And what I'm telling you today is, the scripture here is telling us, remember that. Remember God's concern with the inside much more than he is the outside. So let's... Uh, Let's be kind to one another and be kind to each other. Be kind to ourselves. The Lord's not going to judge us so much on our outward appearance. And I want to take a step back for a minute. It's 2021, folks. And people don't look like we think they... I don't want to say should look, but... We all know people are getting tattoos and they're getting gauges and they're getting all manner of, of physical attributes. And I want to caution us, myself included, that doesn't matter. I know that for, for some of our seasoned, seasoned Christians, it, it, it confuses them, but it doesn't matter. It's the insight, guys. That's what matters. And that's really what the Lord is talking about. We don't want to get caught up in, 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 in negative judgments and, and going off on the wrong track. You know, we read in 1 Samuel 16, the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see mortals as mortal sees they look on the outward appearances but the lord looks on the heart i guess in my reflections here as rambling as they might seem sometimes that's where i'm going let's have a loving heart let's have a kind heart let's have a heart for the lord you know i know it's it's easy to get caught up in appearances somebody else's appearance and uh, and what we want to project to everyone else folks let's it's the it's the internal and not the external if you don't take anything else away take that away it's the internal work on that the second thing christ tells the pharisees that, that he wants us to give alms behold everything will be clean to you And I think that the Lord is talking about giving freely, giving with a joyful heart, giving to those people who are in need most, giving not out of our uh, abundance, but giving out of our, our, our shortcomings, our needs. Now, we all remember the, the widow and, and, and the one penny. Folks, I would hope that all of you are giving alms. I would hope that all of you are giving something to somebody. And I'm not talking just about the church. I'm talking about giving to Habitat for Humanity, uh, Wounded Warriors, giving to that, to that homeless person on the street. Those are alms. Those are what we should give. But don't get caught up in, in the money, guys. Alms can also be talent and time. 
and also you do something for the church out of your out of your uh, out of your talent. You do something for the church or a, a charity out of out of your time, folks. I believe that's what the Lord is talking about. Not that we're working. You know, I always tell you, not that we're working our way to salvation, because that's not the point. Because if we're doing it, and we're doing it with a loving heart, I think that reflects what the Lord um, does for us. You know, He forgives us. He gives us blessing. Gives us our salvation. He heals us. All those things that, that all those blessings and things we get from Him, you know, He wants us to turn around with that same mindset with that same love to give to other people. I think that's what he's talking about here. So folks, you know, be mindful of those folks around you. Be mindful of people in need. And on the other side, be mindful of when somebody's doing something for you. Did they, did, are you sick and they brought you, you know, some really great meals? Or did your car break down and somebody come to, 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 to get you? Those are blessings that, that we should take as alms. You know, we bless other people and we're blessed. And I think that's what the Lord is talking about. And then we'll be made clean because we'd be doing his work out of our heart. Folks, those are my reflections today. I hope you got something out of them. I wish you the best. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand until we meet again.